取らなかったなんだか思いっきり見入ってしまって取れなかった Looking back at my life, the best times I've ever had were predicated on a beautiful and interesting setting. My favorite time is when the rain is falling. I grew up in a country all my life, so I can easily just go out and explore the woods, watch as the raindrop flaws under the petal, or remain entranced by a neighboring toad. I love nature, and I love being alone with it, leaving the serene alone only to bask in it from afar. It's a feeling not easy to explain, but something drenched in my inner self draws me to the simple meaning in the naturally mundane. Yokohama's shopping log focuses on a world so ravaged by the end, so ravaged. By environmental crisis and rising sea levels, that everyone kind of makes do in this world. No one is fighting to change itself because it can't be helped. The world has changed so much that the only thing you can really do is enjoy your life for the time you have it. Androids and people are now together in society, but this story is set in the countryside, wherein three people are just kind of doing their own thing. Our main character is tasked with taking care of a currently closed cafe. While taking care of it, she's given a camera through the mail and a ton of free time. This time taken throughout the show to show absolutely every detail and full tonal beauty feels like a complete love letter to myself. Shots linger for a while on these great atmosphere pieces. We're shown six minute introspection scenes basking in nature and little details like water flowing at a bridge. The meaning here is in the atmosphere itself. Alpha's time is primarily spent gazing at the world given, appreciating the newfound nature that's arisen through the ash of what once was a hustling, bustling city. It's an apocalypse story, but the story is in the details. The same feeling for the beauty of our world that I feel is felt in this character. But presented through a post war esque territory where nature is different. I would have been happy with any calm outside show, but the emotion goes a step further in exploring the beauty of a world exclusive to anime. The depth of color and sci fi ish set pieces are the perfect idealization of real world nature observation. It uses the medium of anime to make a more interesting narrative. Telling an apocalypse story through calm, atmospheric itsekai is a very, very efficient way of getting your point across. The type of people who write stories like these with more of an environment focus, who care about the earth, probably want to preserve it. Exploring themes like the world ending and the ocean overflowing what once was a city works perfectly in this kind of setting. Rather than some exposition dump in your apocalypse story, the story is told through visuals. A picture is worth a thousand words, and a good one can convey a heavy load emotionally. In this regard, for us fans of nature who flock to a show like this, We'll leave the show with a bit more on our plate, hopefully, than we came into it. If you haven't seen this OVA, I'd recommend that you track it down. 
It's only two episodes long, but there's also a giant manga series floating around, which I'll have to get around to reading eventually. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy the show, if you check it out.